Hey guys, Silence Zia here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. It is a very exciting time right now, even though it is a repeat event for Min Min Mei's birthday event. Uh, although there is no birthday celebration, in, in fact, means that we do not get the 75 singing stones that we normally do when a character gets their birthday uh, celebrated within the game itself. But that's okay um, because right now, um, it is still a chance for new players to gain that plus 20 luck episode play that they will be for most of the events in the future and of course to collect resources to power up their own episode plates within their collection. But before we move on to the gacha, let's talk about all the brand new updates that actually just roll in with Cheryl's brand new crossover costume. So first off, we're going to take a look at the Singing Stone store and we're gonna talk about yes there are discounted packs once again and why you should invest them basically because uh, the crossover live costumes are pretty important if you want to gain like um you know special stuff that they give with the missions i suppose the missions should be back again um with considering that Cheryl and Ranka's crossover costumes will be featured within the month of December and um, unfortunately I think Min Mei's, uh, Min Mei's Basara's and Milane's costumes will only come around during January which is going to coincide with the New Year events and the Nyan Kuji once again so guys it is a very painful time period for all time across fans uh, especially since if your budget isn't that big and if you want to gain all the items that they release which are pretty important for Uta Macross players like the event episode plates which we recently just got uh, for the key art 3 episode plates that were in the Nyan Kuji and of course the Nyan Kuji now is gone uh, but the Nyan Kuji will return in the New Year celebrations so that is another round of whooping ass to your wallet's finances <laughs> so yeah for three months straight Dana has been draining our finances uh, with all these wonderful wonderful Macross goodies uh, from the crossover live celebration so yeah let's take a look at the mission First, uh, let's see if it has been implemented ever since Cheryl's costume has been added to the game. So let's take a look here. Oh, there are no missions. Huh. Maybe the missions will come around again in January, I suppose. So I guess when Min Mei's, Basara's and Milane's costumes uh, are added to the game, I suppose they will have a full five sets of five lineup of missions for each costumes um, for each of the divas so yeah I guess they didn't want to put it into the game right now because it might be too taxing for those who are probably going to celebrate Christmas if you guys are into the festivities for um, all the holidays that kind of stuff yeah so the Japanese themselves they do celebrate Christmas if you guys didn't know if you don't watch anime and stuff like that I'm sure you probably might not know that the Japanese actually celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the other thing that was updated, which was basically the Kiawawa costumes uh, that was recently added. So as you can tell, I've already updated my Facebook YouTube page for my YouTube channel. Um, Basara's costume, The Howling Moon, will be getting the alternate color treatment. So yeah, so usually when it gets the alternate color treatments aside from the color change, you will also get a different costume to use um, for your lives. And of course, they will have a different set of stats as well. So the costume will get um, you know better stats than the original color itself. Uh, aside from Basara, of course, uh, Freya gets included as well. So let's see, let me just, just select Freya, there we go, her other costume that gets the uh, Kiawawa treatment, then if I'm not wrong, um, I think it was Min Mei, oh, uh, there we go, Min Mei's dress, and I think the last one belongs to Cheryl, yeah, there we go, so 
four divas as usual when every month comes around. Um, four costumes get the Kiawawa treatment. <laughs> and of course, when you power up the costumes, you get Singing Stones, which is what we need for the crossover life costumes for Ranka and Cheryl that's coming around. And of course, Cheryl is right now being introduced. So for Ranka fans, if you guys do not want to get Cheryl's costume, you might want to save your Singing Stones um, for Ranka's gacha in the future if you are free to play. But if you are, of course, capable of buying Singing Stones, well, the discounted Singing Stone packs are the way to go. Now, as usual, I will only recommend you guys to purchase the most expensive one, which is the 3,540 yen Singing Stone pack, which gives you a thousand Singing Stones. And of course, the, um, the special seasonal spheres right now we are in the winter sphere um, and it comes with 1000 winter spheres that's pretty fantastic because you actually need that 1000 winter spheres for the red boss event that's coming up after this event uh, if you guys haven't been following my updates on my youtube facebook page you definitely need to follow me there make sure you like the page so that you keep updated to all the ultra records information that i do not mention within my videos here on my youtube channel um, such as like the monthly updates where they uh, where dana actually announces um the upcoming events and yes for the month of december they are shifting the red boss event to the end of the repeated event for the month which is the second event of the month so right after this event is the red boss event why are they doing it well basically they want the ultime across players to be able to enjoy the holidays which is christmas and all that stuff so the red boss event will be before christmas and uh which basically gives you a uh, a more easier time to enjoy Ultime Across during the holiday periods as well because they know that the Red Boss event is the most taxing in terms of time and you know energy needed to play the game. So well if you can afford both of them it is still definitely cheaper than the usual 10,000 yen and of course now that they've included the new brand new H set which is 13,000 yen for 2,300 singing stones normally this 10,000 yen would be the biggest amount that you could spend in, on, in the singing stone store uh, but of course both special packs combined it is definitely still cheaper than buying a 10,000 yen pack and it will give you a total of uh, 50 1500 singing stones which is three template pools in total for any gacha that you wish to spend it on so all right so that aside let's move on to the main topic of the video which is cheryl gnome's crossover gacha and of course we have to compare her episode plates uh, to all the episode plates that are currently in two time across to see how you know how it fares in terms of tiering and of course how important it is for you to actually obtain this episode plate so let's take a look 3869 total score because of the plus 25 luck value of course well balanced stats kind of well the charm value gets a bit of a boost uh more over than the soul and voice uh, of course pay attention to who else can be using this episode plate because maybe you happen to have the other three divas as your kami instead of cheryl no uh yeah so s rank for center skill total up so units total is boosted by 30 percent up not the highest percentage but it's still definitely a good center skill to have uh, especially if you don't really have a good selection of part element or you know love element episode plates whichever you want to call it by uh, i myself definitely probably need this episode plate because my collection for the pink element episode plates are pretty bad all right let's move on to the second one oh so life skill recovery so i expected it to be a high score boosting center skill or rather active skill because it does have an s rank center but hmm so apparently Cheryl's episode plate is a life skill support. It is not meant to be used in the center position. Well, it can kind of be used because it does have a recovery of 50%, which is fantastic for the current event. Because right now, the current event, uh, there is a difficulty challenge added to the event where uh, if you happen to miss a note, you take more damage than you would. So, and 
the missions actually require you to have like 80% of health or more to clear the mission which is the 125% bonus uh, boost in score uh, if you guys have been playing the event you probably know what I'm talking about um, so yeah Cheryl's episode plate actually is useful as a center position um, episode plate currently for the event itself aside from that it has a S ranks life skill so score and damage if you guys still don't know what this means what are you guys doing? Go and watch my previous gacha videos and get yourself updated to what all these life skills are. So alright, let's move on to the last page which is the most important one because right now Cheryl's episode plate is within the top tiering of all the episode plates due to its total score value which is pretty high, 3800 plus. Although it's there is still no episode plate out there that can actually beat the Macross Plus episode plate which naturally has around 3,900 total score without the plus 25 luck value. Although it doesn't have fantastic skills on it but it is the highest statting plate out there right now but still with skills like this and a total score like that, uh, Cheryl's episode plate is definitely within the top tiering range but with if it actually has a special note attached to it this episode plate is going to be one of the best episode plates out there available so let's go and see what it has oh my goodness it does have a recovery note attached to it so i guess we'll be seeing this episode plate attached to the diva lineup for my cross gatomara nai when the uh, three seiyus play the sample song <laughs> because they always seem to struggle when playing extreme well they there are four people playing on a single song so everybody's timing is definitely not um you know synced uh, unless somehow or rather they 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 feel the burning passion within them and they somehow pull off a miraculous play so far we have yet to see them do a full combo on any of the uh, live streams um, but most of the episode plates that you know the the team of Dana has set up for the the host of Macross Gatomara Nai are all equipped with the recovery note episode plates because they want them to last longer within their struggle of the extreme gameplay. <laughs> so yes, Cheryl Gnome's episode plate is a must get, uh, especially when it comes to maybe. Um, you know when you when you probably struggle with uh, training on extreme songs for the hard element, I suppose her episode plate might make you survive a bit longer and probably eventually clear the song. Even though you don't get a full combo, clearing the song will definitely help you in the future because it unlocks the capability of using the skip ticket to actually you know use. It on the extreme song uh, even though you're not playing the song itself and you're still able to gain uh, items and resources at the end of using the skip ticket uh, at the same time it also helps you clear that you know play count to unlock singing stones from the missions for that particular difficulty so if you guys still don't know what I'm talking about at this point in time you have not been playing with time across long enough <laughs> so guys uh, in my opinion Spend that money for the discounted singing stone packs. If you are a Cheryl fan, it is a must episode plate to get. Uh, if you are just a hardcore Uta Macross player, this is definitely an episode plate that you are to look out for if it ever comes back again. If you couldn't attain it this time round. So guys, I'm gonna go with... I don't know, I can only do a single template pool here because I only have 750 singing stones at this point of time. I might do a future pool again in the uh, once I've gotten maybe another 50 singing stones, you know. But I still have to uh, purchase the singing stone packs for Ranka's Gacha in the future. So let's do this, guys. Hopefully, the luck has come around again because it hasn't been looking too fantastic recently. Here we go. One. Three. Oh, so we are getting a pretty mediocre pool. We did get a bit of loading at the beginning, so that's pretty okay. 
as long as they give me like episode plates with the costume points, I, I'm fine with it. Oh yay! There we go. So I guarantee myself um, capability of using episode odds to unlock the costume. But I might only have enough for one crossover costume, so I probably might unlock Cheryl's this way. Um, I'm definitely gonna throw singing stones for Ranka Gacha. You guys know me. Oh. Oh, I get to evolve the episode. Wait. You know, because Ranka is my waifu. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, so I, I'm getting a decent amount of points, although I don't have any of the new episode plates that contain the episode points, aside from the special type. So there we go, the notification. So yeah. So, pretty fantastic, um, considering that I did get three of the special plates. Uh, if you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, um, these episode plates can only be viewed through the um, Utahime tab and the episode list. So let's take a look at the episode plates itself. Oh, that's really not enough points. Am I really able to unlock Cheryl's costume now? Uh, that's a pretty hefty damage on my episode of collection though. Okay. So let's do this. That's 10 points. It's pretty low. Hmm. Okay. So we got a total of 160 points. Yep. Alright, so wow, that's a lot of points to get to <laughs> 1002. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see. I, I should have enough for a full costume unlock. There we go. Uh, probably gonna use 8 large ones. And... Ow. Okay, so I can I guess I can save my 500 singing stones from doing a second pool. But I would love to obtain Cheryl's episode plate, but I don't know. I might want to use that 500 singing stones in the future for Ranka's instead. Because who knows, maybe Ranka's episode plate might be on the same tier level as Cheryl. Who knows? So, okay. Um, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, I can use one medium and of course three tiny ones for the full level up. There we go. So here it is. Cheryl's costume unlocking life. Alright, fantastic stuff. So with this unlocking, you guys know what's coming up next on my YouTube Facebook page. I will definitely go record uh, Cheryl performing in her crossover bloom costume for that special song that comes with that special animation. So until then guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the episode plate. Or maybe even tell me how you guys did for your own personal gacha pools. And of course, like this video if you appreciate all the content shared once again. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross gacha video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!